Hey guys, welcome back to Bo Loves Lego. Um, I'm going to do part two of the review of Lego set 4709 Lego Harry Potter 2001. Just to say again, this is part two. So hopefully you guys watched part one already. Um, this this is now, um, I reviewed the, um, Aury, the fireplace, the restrictor library, and the Gryffindor tower. Now I am reviewing the Great Hall, um, and then the Boathouse. So at the back we got the um, Vok Mountain piece, we got um, the structures, we got flame elements, um, we got the special um, roof. Um, Plastic elements, we got bats, we got a tower, um, we got a missing piece, but I will um, replace it. I got another missing piece, but I will replace it. Then we got, um, I'll do up the tower more first. So we got the Gryffindor and Slytherin banners um, to show which um, house has won for that year or maybe school term. We got um, um, these like clear transparent piece holding up flames to make them for them make them look like they are flying um, candles. Then we got this um, white white rat here. Then we got this like crystal crystal element here what's hiding probably a spell or something or potion. Um, then we got this big arch window here, no arch rock-ish piece here, that tiny Mr. Peeves, um, he was a Gryff Gryffindor, um, but he died, so now he's a ghost. We got Dumbledore's chair and Dumbledore's table here, um, what well, looks nice, we got this like white goblet here um, and you can lift the chair up um, and it's supposed to hide something I don't really remember um, and then we've got these two other goblets here um, for the students to sit we've got a letter and we've got another table here it has a Dumbledore um, chocolate Frog um, type elements from those packages um, of those treats with the chocolate frog. Um, so that's kind of it for the Great Hall. It is a really nice build. Um, every time I always want to make this piece here. Um, you got those structures here. Um, and then we got a simple build with the um, printed rock elements here um, and some flame elements here and then we got the rock piece got like a small little tower another little tower here I think that's supposed to resemble those and then the back is just kind of basic 
And then we've got this boat here. Um, and that's supposed to be a torch. So I'll miss um, one of the flame, which I'm missing. I'll still go and buy that this year when I can. Um, then we've got Hagrid here. These are the nine minifigures that you get in the set. That's nine minifigures. Um, so we've got Hagrid with his hair. What's the foam one? Because it's 2001 didn't really have a good type of one. Um, that's his original head for 2001. Um, you've got amazing printing here. I really like the belt printing there. And then we got that little slope thing there just for them to hold the parts in. Um, because this is, this bit is one whole part. Um, then you got the head and then now you got the hair. So that's actually just one, three pieces. Then you got Ron Weasley with his, um, orange hair, um, he has no back printing on the heads, um, I got this comp nearly complete but sadly I don't have his um, real top for that one, um, you got the white pants and then you got the um, star and caping, star cape, um, on him. Um, his head is really worn, so yeah. Um, then we got Snape. Um, his head goes in the dark. He was the first ever minifigure who had a go in the dark head. Um, we got nothing on the back. This is a regular black cape. Nothing, no prints on the back. Um, torso or the legs. Um, at the front we do have the um, purple kind of cape, purple dress uh, thing he was wearing. We've got Hermione Granger with the um, stone cape which does show some age on it. Um, we do got her hair. Um, it's quite nice. We got the head, which wasn't really her actual head. Um, what doesn't look properly for her. We got it, no backing, um, no printing on the back. Um, we just only got the Gryffindor, um, T-shirt and no prints on the legs. Then we've got Draco Malfoy without his head, um, which is a Slytherin one, with no prints on the legs, no prints on the back. Then we've got the starring cape again, which that has age. Then we've got his hair. Like I said, we don't have his head, which I need to get. We've got Harry Potter with his obvious head, no back head printing, no back print on the back, um, and just a torso print without any leg prints. And then he does have his a different coloured cape for some reason, a purple colour. Then we have um, Dumbledore with his grey hair and grey beard. You can tell that he has, um, like, bare skin, um, over his t-shirt, some nice printing on the legs. No printing on the back side and the face, no back face. And we do have his 
um, face, which is okay without um, the thing, moustache. Um, and then he has the same colour cape of Harry Potter's. Um, the original um, instructions are here. Um, I do not have the box, but my mate who sells like a lot, um, he has the box. Um, and it would sell it to me for $30. Um, so, let's That is the whole set with the boat and the boat house. Um, and then there's the back again. And then a bunch of our minifigures here. That's five minifigures. Hermione Granger, Severus Snape, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter and um, Dumbledore. Then we've got Draco Malfoy and then Rubius Hagrid. That is all what comes in the set. Thank you for watching. Please watch my other videos and please subscribe. Thank you.